I put it in on Shattered Temple. <laughs> it's like doubles going to be at the uh, 12 o'clock position as Protoss. And we have a Zerg player. Hurrah. Imperob Snail. I don't know. Is the, I don't know. Is this guy a Masters player? Or do you know about this guy? I believe you so, lost him, right? Masters maybe two seasons ago. Uh -huh. He's diamond right now. Just hanging out. See him spawning in the 6 o'clock. Double Protoss up in the 12 o'clock. See if uh, Double goes for an FFB opening or a standard Sentry expand. So do they still? So they do still still do this uh, like the three warp gate, like Sentry expand or three gate Sentry expand? Or? You know, it's become less common in the last couple months. Seeing as Zerg has been taking a quick third and Protoss, you know, gets their Nexus up in order to keep up with the macro. But you know, if you look here, it appears that Double's misplaced his pilot. It doesn't look like he's going for an FFB, and it doesn't look like he can re really wall off. Hmm. So we'll see in the coming minutes if Robosnail goes to exploit. Yeah, because he probably will. He's no idiot. Yeah, because he can't reach. Yeah, it's actually. Ooh. That'd be a big mistake there, I know. <laughs> this could be game ending. Yeah. I know I'd probably rage quit. <laughs> yeah, because I actually uh, was a Protoss player myself. Haven't played in quite a while, but I do know that I've done this quite a few times, but I, I definitely do know that you want to block off, be able to block off the, the Zerg rushes. And it's always very, very painful whenever they're able to sneak up there. And we see Robosnail going for gas pool, so he'll have his speedlings pretty early in the game. I don't know. It's not looking so good for double this early in the game. He's getting see, two gate already. Now he's asking for a pause. Um, you know what? Oh, there yeah. we go. Do have a pause here, don't necessarily know why that's coming in here. <laughs> so I uh, took down third place, so what'd you uh, what'd you win there? Actually, won a mouse pad and a mouse. Cool. Not the. I mean, I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's really cool. Win, winning winning prizes, yeah. Coming out of Starcraft 2 tournament. Yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, what uh, what rank are you uh, on Starcraft 2? I'm like mid diamond, upper diamond, I suppose. Cool. But I mean, we moved on to Battlefield 3 a while ago. We started playing Starcraft again. Just kind of jump around. Yeah, I mean, Starcraft is a game I do love. I know probably when Harvest Storm comes out, I'm gonna be back playing it. I'm Definitely. sure, furiously. Excited he about that. Doubles opening two gate. He hasn't even started his core yet. This is definitely messing up his early game play. And I really doubt, considering the speedling opening, his two gate is going to be able to do considerable economic damage. Yeah, I mean, it might just be a response to the fact that he can't actually defend himself. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This is not looking good. I'll tell you <laughs> that. Anything Very is, late gas. Yeah, anything is possible, though. You never know. That drone's gonna have a little fun play, ring around the rosy, cue the Benny Hill music. Yep. Gonna run away from this poor zealot. <laughs> There's no way that drone's dying. Yeah, until a stalker comes on the battlefield, unless he does something. Two minutes. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go, blocked by the walk. probes. No mineral walk. Oh, yes. So it's mineral walk, that's like when you actually click on the minerals and it basically pat gets through the, the pathing, is it on? Test, test, test. Testing, testing, testing. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. All right. So if anything, yeah, just keep it close yeah. to your mouth. He's got two zealots out right now. Let's see. Let's check the production tab. All right. Okay. So he's, he's got a roach going on the way. No, no natural expansion Which for one? the Zerg yet. And you know what? Considering the low gas income on the Protoss, it, this isn't looking too hot. Late warp gate, roaches against zealots. It's just going to end up kiting all day, and then Zerg will be able to overwhelm. Yeah, roaches, I believe, do deal bonus damage. Uh, give a give a check right here. Okay. No bonus damage. Oh, okay. Either way, 16 and roaches against zealots is never fun. Yes. As the Protoss, at least. <laughs> it has that 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 triple zealot wall. That is. 
a new kind of wall off. I've never seen that before, but it looks like it would work. I think that's the the epic bodge uh, wall off. It's like ah, I screwed up. Uh, this works. Yes, definitely makes it. Yeah, I think maybe you could even maybe sneak past here, but I mean I'd have to test it. But you might be able to sneak like there a one size unit, like a, like a zergling. Yeah. Well, we'll see right here. He's got the stalkers out, and he has high ground, and the sentries. That's huge. Ooh. Uh oh, just in time. Uh oh. You see Zerg's going for his natural now. It's late. Check the probe count. Probes are ahead of the drones. Yeah, a little bit of engagement down ramp now. Force field not going to be able to block the ramp, but this is a lot of trouble oh, will he break for the Protoss player. Warp gate finish? And we got three, two stalkers in the cell incoming. Probe line being pulled. Trying to block up here. Two oh, ropes really well, but not going to do it. And they will oh, pick it up. Supply and is tilting towards the Zerg. Zealot's going down. Probe's being pulled. Getting us around. Rocker should be able to come in through this up. There's so much damage going down here. Probably right. differential increasing. Oh, but it looks like it's... I don't know. So Michael with the Stalkers and he'll be able to kill the Roach. down to only 16. Probes now versus 26 okay. drones and the expansion coming up. So we've got four gates. It was it was a decent trade for the Zerg. I think he's got a marginal lead here, but you know I think it's time for the Protoss to come on and put some pressure. He's got four gates. He's got a decent army, but he's down on supply. He needs to go and hit that ma natural expansion before it kicks in. Yeah, if that kicks in, it's gonna be in a lot of trouble. But I, I don't know how he's gonna man. play it. He may just throw up a pylon, go for the Sentry expand. I don't know. Interesting to see here. Creep tumor is being spread out here. It looks like he's preparing he knows for what he would needs be, to be a counter. Yeah, he's preparing for the the, the four gate if it was going to come in. Scouting for overlords. I like that. I like that. But he should really be pressuring and forcing units out of the zerg. There's some wings. Again, zerg. You know the unique thing to them is they can, they build everything out of their hatchery. So. By pressuring him, like you're saying, he you prevents him from building drones, getting a huge economic lead, and just yeah, running away from the game that way. Yeah, and he'll be missing injects and missing larva and a lot of stuff. And I don't know, he's not capitalizing on his army. Actually, build, uh, building up a lot of resources here. Yeah. Almost 700 resources for the Zerg. Protoss, meanwhile, spending everything he has as soon as he can get it, just trying to prepare and survive here. And you know, if you check the production tab, we don't see any. all the way up to 33. Whew. Almost doubling it there. Studio Observer probably trying to see how much he's behind right now. It's probably, <laughs> it's going to be bad news when that Observer hits the Zerg's base. He will be the bearer of bad news, mm. that is for sure. Here comes the pylon at the ramp, probably indicative of an expansion. We'll see it's 400 minerals. And, you know, it appears with the two gases going up the natural that the Robosnail will be going for mutalisks, along with the lings and spines. Yeah, it's just five sp spine crawlers going up now. I mean, is that typical for Zerg? Is that just, like, not like a maybe... You know what? This is a, this is a cautious play. You know, he hasn't received any pressure from the Protoss, so he doesn't really need the spines. Three would suffice. But considering his lack of scouting, he's just playing nice and conservative, and I like that. Yeah, actually he doesn't have too many overlords. He only has the one forward overlord. Yeah. Uh, typically you usually see a few more run around, but again, stalkers are pretty fast, can patrol really quickly around the battlefield. And the Immortal coming out, I know the double's a huge fan of Immortals. This is true, I did play an FFA with him. He was all about the Immortals. <laughs> did get that range buff, you know, range 6. Yeah, ever since then they've been quite popular. I'm a big fan myself. Here's that Nexus. And I mean, you see right now, Zerg's got a gr nearly triple the income, Protoss. Yeah. And over time, I mean, it's it's just not looking good for Double. He need to, he needed to reproduce those probes after the Roach timing, but never did so. Yeah, I think he was too scared and was trying to build up an army in response, and now he's just yeah. falling behind. But I think Zerg maybe needs to throw down another hatch actually to spend his money. He has a thousand well, minerals just sitting in there. He's, what he's doing is, is he going into Mutalisk or Roach? Uh, no Spire on the way? Yeah. No Straight yeah, roach. He does it. have the lair. Oh, he's double upgrading. 
So yeah, here comes a big round of roaches. Minerals down to 600, but yes, he does need a macro oh, hatch. Eleven roaches, yeah. Wow. He should throw one up within the next minute. Yeah. Ooh, after taking down the gold expansion here. Okay. So uh, that could have been huge if he's able to get that up. The observer sitting there, yeah, knowing that that's, what's going on. that's probably the the cue for him. He realizes that once that happens, he's in a lot of trouble. He's going to have to do something about that. Can't I really afford to like let that go up. Give him good map Yeah, and actually, great creep spread. This is actually, he's been very active, uh, reaching the halfway point on the, the map right now. So that's actually really, really good by him. Yeah, especially for the speed roaches. They're going to be able to encroach on you very quickly. Stalker's going to try to run to safety. You know, and I really would have liked a Mutalist transition to he's going Robo Immortals. Yes, I agree, yeah. And he's continuing Immortal production with a lot of sentries, which will bode well against Roaches. Yeah. But <laughs> if we check the pro count, look, he's continued production again, but he's still at a measly 23 on two base, which is, it's not even worth having 24 probes on two bases. You can have it on one base. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, the other thing is, I mean, having the Nexus though will let him uh, build more probes quickly. So yes. I guess that is a price. Yeah, chrono, more chrono boost. And there we go. There's that third hatch going down. That's the gold his expansion. Macro up in his natural, continuing his upgrades. Protoss pushing out now. Got some good force fields. Check himself. Splits. Great back back. Spreading out the army. Now. Going down here. They're going to be actually stuck behind the roaches though, but I don't think it even oh, matters. Oh wow, great micro here. 70, 80 supply differential right now, targeting the mortals. Oh, this is not looking good. Yeah, mortals too no slow wall. to get out of here. Great job. No wall at the and this next no can yeah, We're probably going to see GG here. No oh, burrow. Uh, can be seen there with the double of can be seen. Is this, is this some retarded BM? Oh, there we go. Now he's back. There, there. we go. Oh, here we go. Probes being pulled. GG, and well then. played. Coming down for double. This is a best of three, I do believe, so we will see another game.